a website templates are not very sophisticated and that I can end up with a more professional looking website sometimes using other products. But it's really convenient to be able to have it in Lightroom so that I can so easily populate it with my images. Uh, it's up to you as far as if you think that's sophisticated enough for you or not. Uh, but it's nice having it available at least. So do we have uh, general questions about uh, the web module? Of course we do. Mm -hmm. Patrick's wondering, would the gallery be a great way to post to blogs? To blogs? Not usually, necessarily, because the HTML files it's going to generate are rather complicated. And also in here, there's not a lot of provision for text. And so, at least on my blog, I use um, blogging software. I use something called WordPress, uh, which is designed for making blogs. And then I'll use Lightroom and simply export my images at a predetermined size that I think is good for my blog. But then when I'm actually making the blog post, uh, I'm in WordPress, which is the software for uh, one of the most popular pieces of software for uh, blogging. WordPress in general is free. If you have hosting somewhere, uh, you can install it on your server and use it for your blog. Or if you don't have a, if you haven't paid to have it hosted somewhere on a server, you can uh, have it self-hosted right on the WordPress website. So I'd look into WordPress as one of the options for that. This is more if you just want a simple portfolio. So a question from Photographics Miami. If the images used for a web gallery are PSD, PNG, RAW, etc., do they get converted to JPEG and sized down for web to speed up the process? Yes, they do. Okay. Uh, everything in here is going to be scaled down uh, in done as a JPEG. One of the choices in here was how big your images would be. Is, um, and that is going to control how much it's scaled down, which is this, this setting right here. Uh, image pages, and it doesn't matter what file format they started out, they're going to end up as JPEGs. Um, another question, where will the portfolio show up on your iPad if you're using Dropbox? Uh, you need to have on your iPad a piece of software, an application, that is designed to communicate with Dropbox. And the one that I use, I believe, is called Minimal Folio. Although there's a small chance it's called minimal portfolio, but I think it's minimal photo folio. The icon for it is black and I think has a simplistic arrow pointing up, um, if you happen to see that one. Within that app, uh, if you go into the preferences, you can say sync with Dropbox. When you tell it to do that, it'll create a folder on Dropbox called minimal folio, and anything you put in that folder uh, will show up within that software. If you put in folders, you know, subfolders in there, those will be different galleries within that app. Uh, although you do need to tell it to sync with Dropbox. It's not going to do it uh, interactively. Like it's not the moment I put a photo on Dropbox that it's on my iPad. It's that I can tap on an icon and say sync with Dropbox, and it would go look for new images. Um, and I would say it's an OK uh, portfolio app. There's a lot of things I wish it could do, and a lot of things I wish they would change as far as making it more simple um, and all that. But it's the one that I found that works and syncs with Dropbox nicely, so I've stuck with it. Yeah. OK, question from Adriana Lopez. How do you arrange the photos so you can do them on, in the order you want in the web gallery? Um, create, a, create a collection first. Drag your photos into that collection. So I might have a collection called Iceland. Drag the photos you want to use into that particular collection. And when you're in the library module in Lightroom, you can view the contents of that collection and drag your pictures around so that you can uh, um, determine the order before you even head into here. And then they're going to respect that order uh, once you get into this uh, gallery. Okay. Any others? OK. Uh, so, in general, that's what I wanted to talk about in this particular session. We still have time left over, though. I think we're supposed to break at 1 o'clock. We've got about 15 minutes. So, I have a little special sheet here that tells me what I haven't covered in Lightroom. And there are some random features that we just haven't had a chance to cover that I thought would be uh, good to talk about. You know how we've organized a lot of things into collections? And you can name those collections, drag your photos into them, but those collections stay there. And sometimes you just need a quick collection where 